Today we are going to discuss about two important points, Boyle's law and Charles law. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. So let's start from the first Boyle's law. Statement The volume of a given mass of a perfect gas varies inversely as its absolute pressure when the temperature is constant. So you have to remember for the Boyle's law, temperature is constant. So mathematically, we can write the volume inversely proportional to its pressure. So volume inversely proportional to its pressure. So V is for the volume and P is for the pressure when temperature is constant. So if you put it over here, proportionality constant, then I can say V is equal to C into 1 upon P, where C is proportionality constant. And so that I can say PV is equal to C, that means constant. So that you can say the statement of Boyle's law, that product of pressure and volume for any state of a given mass of a perfect gas is always constant. So Try to understand this statement. So let a quantity of a gas at pressure P1 and volume V1 is filled in cylinder as shown in figure. So let's draw the figure. So this is the cylinder where I am going to put the piston which will reciprocate over here in the cylinder. And this space that is filled with the gas and having initially pressure P1 and volume V1. So this space that is now our system. So this is the condition temperature is constant. So now if I want to draw a situation described over here on the PV diagram then this is the pressure versus volume diagram. Pressure is always on the y axis and volume is always on the x axis. And this is the initial state 1. So I can say this is the initial state 1. And according to that, the pressure is P1. So I can say the pressure is P1. So here I can write P1. And the volume is V1. So volume is over here. That is V1. Next. Now this gas changes its state from state 1 to state 2. This is the initial state. Now this gas, that means this gas, is change its state from 1 to 2. So let's say the state is changed. Now the volume is changed, pressure is also changed, but temperature remains constant according to Boyle's law. So the new state, state 2, that is over here, here you can see. Initially the piston is over here, that's why it is the state 1, now it is state 2. And this is the process from 1 to 2. And I can write over here at state 2, the pressure is P2 and at state 2, volume is V2. So mathematically, this is the statement of the Boyle's law. So if we apply the Boyle's law at state 1, then at state 1 pressure is P1 and volume is V1. So I can say P1 V1 is equal to constant. If I apply the same for the state 2, then it will be P2 V2 is constant. And so that I can say P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 is equal to constant. And that is the very important to understand the Boyle's law. For each and every state, the product of pressure and volume is always constant, but the condition is temperature remains constant. So this is the Boyle's law. Now next one, Charles' law. So first statement, the volume of a given mass of a perfect gas varies directly as its absolute temperature when the pressure is constant. So you have to remember in case of Charles' law, pressure is constant. Whereas in previously we have seen Boyle's law, temperature is constant. So mathematically, 
volume varies directly its temperature so volume varies directly to its absolute temperature the condition pressure is constant so if i put over here proportionality constant then it is v is equal to constant into t and so that i can say v by t is equal to constant and that is a very important statement of the charles law mathematically so from this statement we can understand the ratio of the volume and its absolute temperature is always constant for every state if pressure is constant so try to understand this statement so let a quantity of a gas has volume v1 and temperature t1 initially as shown in figure so let's say pressure versus volume diagram and this is the state 1 and here at state 1 pressure is p1 and volume is v1 now this gas changes its state from state 1 to state 2 and so that it has a volume v2 and temperature t2 so i can change the state 2 so here it is the state 2 and this is the process 1 to 2 here pressure is constant and so that you can understand it should be the horizontal line and at state 2 pressure is p2 so i can say it is the pressure p2 and here you can understand that p1 is equal to p2 because of both are at the same level and volume that is v2 so now if i want to write for the state 1 then what will be over here v1 upon t1 is equal to constant if i want to apply at state 2 then what will be there v2 by t2 is equal to constant so we can say v1 by t1 is equal to v2 by t2 is equal to constant that means we can write the same ratio for each and every state but once again the condition is pressure remains constant so this is a very important relation So thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video